So guys, in this video, I'm going to be assembling this turbine. And as you can see, all I need is two bearings. One is already, I already put one in here. So I need these two bearings. Also, I recommend to you take off these rubber seals, like a screwdriver, but be careful. See like that. But I, I don't need to take off th that one because I already have the one off. I'm just gonna keep it on for the video. But take, take, take those off and spray some WD-40 on them. And this way, the bearings will be able to spin more freely. They'll be able to spin for longer. But if you use these with the high load, then they're going to burn out. But with the WD-40, it allows them to spin way faster. Once you have your bearing how you want it, with the seal on or off or whatever, you need to, if you have a, if your 3D printer is good, then the tolerances will be good and you'll be able to just pop these in and out. If they're not very good, you might need to whack them in with a hammer, but I don't have that. So I just use silicon oil and just have to whack it. Make sure it's empty if you do it though. The rotor is designed to fit in this Lego axle, which is eight studs long. To fit nicely into there. Put the axle in there. The axle should also fit nicely into the spacer. Should be little to no backlash. Make sure that the rotor is oriented so that the air is gonna get scooped into here. Make sure you put the spacer where this ridge is. That's for the that's the space for the turbine. Or you can just put it straight on to the axle first. Then put that in on. Also, you should open it to make sure you know where the holes are. And then these are my M the M3 screws. I forgot to mention this in the beginning of the video. M3 screws that can be this one is 35 millimeters long, but actually, no, it's closer to 40 millimeters long. But anything that's 35 millimeters long should work. So, 35 to 40 millimeters should work. If it's 35, you can't really add any washers, there probably won't be enough space. If you have a 40 millimeter long screw, then you'll be able to add nuts onto it. And after that, if you have a good printer as well, you should be able to just tighten these in with your hands for a little bit. It'll get harder as you keep going. Make sure it's aligned with the hole or so it won't go in well. And boom, there you have it, your turbine. But if I make the version that has the gear and pulley system, then I'll show you what you need to do. So you don't need to print this part, this top casing. You need to go in the file that says with gear train, print the one that says casing top with gear holder. This is what the casing top with gear holder looks like. You'll need three extra bearings one for here, one for here, and one for here. Make sure you put your spacer in first. And then insert your screws. So far, everything should be operating nicely. The next thing that you need to do is make sure your bearings are either nice and evenly. If they're not, you can hit them with a hammer or your empty silicone spray can. Next thing you need is this 11, 11 stud long Lego axle. What I need to do is put the helical gear on this, then insert the spacers into the bearing. Hold those, that way they don't fall out and lose them because they get lost very easily. At this point, you can put your gear on the other side to make it stay.
make sure that the gears are facing the opposite way. So you see how that one, they're facing the same way, they won't mesh. They need to be facing the opposite way and they'll mesh better. Okay, I made a mistake. It seems like it works the best when you put the gear on this side instead of the other side. It was on the other side, it was binding up a lot. So put it on that side or try whichever side works. Maybe try loosening these screws a little bit. But now it works well. And then what I need to do if you want the pulley, all you have to do is, you know, print all you have to do is of course print the pulley. And then thread a rope in there and tie it. Boom, it's a regular knot. Then take off this gear first. Then put this, put this on. Then that is a turbine fully assembled with the gear chain. It's like a pull start kind of, but it's a pulley. And thank you guys for watching this video. And now I'm going to show you a little bit of footage 